From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the British Pound. The British Pound initially tried to rally during the day on Thursday, but has pulled back a bit to show signs of hesitation. Quite frankly, this is a market that I think is just killing time between now and the jobs number on Friday. It's worth noting that the 200-day EMA is just above, and of course, just above there, we have the 50-day EMA. In other words, we have a couple of different things that could get in the way here and cause a bit of resistance. If we turn around and break down below the bottom of the candlestick from the Wednesday session, then I think you could see the U.S. dollar start to overwhelm the British pound, perhaps sending this pair down to the 1.24 level. In fact, I think that's the most likely of scenarios. However, I also recognize that if we were to turn around and break above the 50-day EMA above, then it opens up the possibility of the British pound trading all the way up to the 1.27 level. This is a play on interest rates, and although interest rates in the United Kingdom are respectable, a lot of this just comes down to the fact that the Federal Reserve looks nowhere near loosening monetary policy. As long as that's the case, you will see a lot of U.S. dollar strength across the board, and that won't be any different here. Any move below the 1.24 level could really turbocharge the selling, and I suspect at this point you would probably see U.S. dollar strength everywhere in the Forex world, and it would not just be a British pound situation. Keep in mind that Friday has the jobs report, and that will throw a lot of volatility into the market. That being said, with all of that noise, typically the jobs report doesn't change whatever the overall trend is. Music